This is a heat pump. We've made it through yet another winter. Uh, this is our fourth season, our fourth winter with the Mr. Cool. So if you're wondering if uh, a heat pump is okay in winter, I just wanted to give you guys an update just so you can see what's going on with this. We're in zone 5A, 5B, we're right on the borderline. Typically our coldest day in winter is minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, this year we got down to around that. And so it's a typical winter. It seemed like the early months were a little warmer than, than usual. Uh, but we still got cold weather. That being said, the Mr. Cool did a great job. We didn't have any issues, we didn't have any problems. Uh, the, the heat pump functioned really, really well. We're really happy with a heat pump in winter in 5A, 5B planting zone. If you wanna see any of the videos that we've made in the past, we'll have put a link up there as well as in the description below the video so you guys can check out our playlist of all the Mr. Cool videos that we've made uh, and see the reviews that we've done each year. Let's go ahead and look at the numbers and we'll show you how we fared. The very first winter we had Mr. Cool installed. Uh, our total bill for the winter December through March was $988. The second winter, the total winter bill December through March was $1,061. Now what was different in year two was that we kept the temperature at 71 degrees all winter long, 24-7 just as an experiment to see how the bill would change without varying the temperature, turning it down at night. The reality was it was only about a 7% difference, but that also includes a slightly colder winter than the prior year. So not that big of a difference. But anyway, winter three, our bill went down from 1,061 down to $657, a little over $400 or 40%. And that was because we had supplemental heat, if you will. We used a Bitcoin miner for half that winter. We have a miner, that's the Bitcoin miner there laying on its side. Then we have a duct connector that's gonna connect the miner to a fan. Uh, we have a fan, an eight inch fan and a thermostat that monitors the temperature, etc. And we had then have an eight inch duct takeoff which we then ran into our supply duct. We captured the excess heat from the Bitcoin miner, run it through our ducts, and that pro provided residual heat, if you will, throughout the house. And that enabled the Mr. Cool to run less often, certainly on mild days. Once the temperature got really cold, uh, this Mr. Cool had to do its work. Same thing for last, year, last winter, winter number four, but we had a Bitcoin miner running the entire winter and our bill went down to $421 for the four months, December through March. So now we're 60% lower in cost than the first two years we had the Mr. Cool running. So the Bitcoin miner really was very helpful with its residual heat. We really enjoyed that. But even if you take the Bitcoin miner away, the Mr. Cool heat pump in winter, zone 5A, 5B, still is doing an admirable job of working in really cold temperatures. This one has no problem keeping this house heated. Bitcoin miner as an extra or not. Uh, the only difference is it really helps our bill to have that Bitcoin miner running. And I hope these numbers help you. If you're trying to figure out if a heat pump is, is really right for you and where you live and the house that you have, um, this house is around 2,000 square feet plus a 1,000 square foot basement. It's about 25 years old, pretty well insulated. The windows face the southwest, but we're in a pretty cloudy winter climate, so we don't get a lot of extra help from the sun. Modern heat pumps, they're more than capable of keeping a house well heated in, in a wintry climate. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of this, go ahead and like the video. We're really grateful if you can do that. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.